How can I make golf as easy as possible? Well, in this video, I'm here at Walter Golf Club to find out if I was to play golf with these hybrid irons, full set of hybrid irons from four iron all the way down to sand wedge, will it result in me finding the game easier? All my missed strikes, suddenly are finding greens. I'm suddenly just playing with so much ease. Well, let's find out if that's the case. So I originally reviewed these hybrid irons last summer. It's a full set from four iron down to sand wedge. They cost 370 pounds and they're called Wazaki. Now, they also come with these cute little head covers and underneath you see these gold, almost crimson red colored top. Um, now I hit loads of shots last time with these clubs, they're hybrid, so they go really, really high up in the air and they are easy to hit. But where I struggled was if I went in a bunker, the sand wedge is definitely a challenge and maybe some of the short shots might be tricky as well today, but with them being hybrids, maybe I won't fat them or thin them. Who knows, it might just be that little bit easier. So we're gonna play the back nine. I've also put in my driver, my three wood and my putter. So I wanna see actually what I do score over these nine holes here at Wallasey. Um, and without further ado, let's kick things off. And the reason why I'm bringing these out on the golf course, in the last video, I said, if the video got 20,000 likes, I bring them on the golf course, it actually got up nearly 40,000 likes. So you guys are super keen to see what happens if I play with these clubs. Now, the first hole here I'm gonna play, we're on the back nine of the 10th hole. I must admit, I'm gonna actually hit driver just to kick things off. <laughs> I wanna score, do you know what I mean? I wanna play well around this back nine and I feel like it's a driver off the first tee here. Short par four, let's see if we can get it close. And let's see, let's put a, a goal of, I mean, shooting level par really is the goal for the back nine. Let's see if we can shoot level par back nine using the hybrid irons. Look at that, look at that. Hey, <laughs> everything else is blacked out, black bag, black head covers, and then boom, I've got these brown and gold, interesting looking clubs in my bag. It's definitely caught a few people's attention already, just getting the clubs out of the car. Right, driver off the first, let's play well. That's not bad. Get up there, ball. Like I say, it's a short par four. I don't think I got every bit of that one, but we should be playing a little chip shot from the front of the green. Get one of these rascals out. Not sure which one yet. Let's go and find it first. Okay, so I didn't quite strike that first tee shot, but we're actually in a great position, just short of the green. Tin is as far back as it can possibly be. Oh, normally I'd probably want to grab like a gat wedge Land it in the middle of the green and let it run all the way. As you can see, I've got a huge elevation. Oh, I'm going to go sand wedge. Now, again, this is a hybrid with the loft of a sand wedge. One of my complaints last time was actually some of this gold um, paint on the, on the face actually scratched up after only a few shots in the bunker. You can see that quite apparent, but it's, I'm more testing the theory of hybrid irons than this actual set itself. Feels like I'm using a lofted putter. Quite like it. See, so we land it on the green, roll it up. That should be phenomenal. Over the back. I thought that was phenomenal. It's actually gone over the back, apparently. I thought that was absolutely perfect. Okay, uh, I don't know what happened there. I, it's actually gone way too big. I've got one hell of a shot now. I've got to literally lob it up with a sand, sand wedge hybrid. Um, this is going to be a tricky one. <laughs> it's going to require some real skill. Ah, this is going to be hard. This is where I need a lob wedge, ideally. Hopefully we should be on the green. That's four shots now. Okay, down the hill, gonna be fast. Go, do it for me, do it for me. Oh, <laughs> so close. After a good drive, the hybrid, Sand wedge let me down there. That is a double bogey on the first. Ouch. Right, come on. Plenty of holes to go. 
Okay, not the start I needed there after that. Actually, what I thought was a great second shot, it ran through the back. Um, we'll call that a teething issue. Right, second hole, I'm gonna hit driver again and leave myself a full hybrid left in. It's pretty good, just up the right, but will work. I think I'll probably leave myself like an eight or nine hybrid left in there now. Just need to work out the distance. They definitely come out fast, like they come off hot off the face. I need to take that into consideration, otherwise I'm gonna get into little tricky spots like I did in the last. Do you think they look good in my bag or not? I'm not sure, I'm not sure if I quite uh, quite fully uh, <laughs> love them in my bag. I'll tell you what, one huge positive, they're very light. Well, actually in my bag, it feels like I'm carrying half a set. It's lovely. Obviously that's because of the graphite shafts and the and the lighter heads, but God, that honestly, it feels like I've, I'm, I've left golf clubs behind. It's very nice on my back. Right, I've actually that driver pretty good. Uh, I've actually only got 80 yards left into this hole. Ooh, 80 yards. Well, obviously it's gonna be the sand wedge. And let me think about this. I reckon I probably hit full would hit this about 110. So I've, I've almost got to half, what feels like half swing this. Luckily for me, I'm, I know it's gonna go up in the air. And that's hopefully we can stop it quick. Need some, needs a bit of creativity here. Oh, be good. Sit down a bit. Oh, I'm a bit worried that's gone long again. Oh no, I felt like I tapped that. There's too much power in these clubs. <laughs> it's just too much power. I feel like that's gone 130 yards and I meant to only hit it 80. Right, I might have another precarious chip. Now, you know how I said at the start of this video, I'm putting these clubs in to make golf easier. At the moment, I feel like they're causing me more issues. I feel like it's actually making it slightly harder, more challenging. Certainly these little fiddly shots. I reckon on the full shots, it'll be fine. But anything on the little short shots, oh, I'm finding these very, very difficult to manage. And that might be just the reason why most hybrids stop at like five iron. You don't normally get pitching wedges and sand wedges in hybrid. That might be for a very, very valid reason. Okay, look at this. Look at this for a spot. <laughs> I can't, honestly, I can't believe how far that sand wedge has just gone. The flag's there, I mean, I've, I've hit that and I genuinely felt like I tickled it. It's gone about 130 yards. I, feel, I don't know, is, is there a different way of playing this? Like, can I use, even use the top of the golf club? I just don't know if there's enough loft. Like a lob wedge isn't almost enough loft here. Luckily it's on a good lie. Right, creativity here, come on. <laughs> Literally gripping so far down. <laughs> I just need to dink it. That's not a terrible effort. It's come out way left, but that wasn't bad. I, li you saw, I literally tapped it. Oh, we now got a, not a bad opportunity for par actually. Maybe the tactic is don't leave myself under 130 yards to the hole. Maybe the tactic is to lay it up and hit fuller shots. You know what? It also just shows the importance of when you can, taking clubs out on the golf course to test. Because if I'd hit these clubs, and obviously these are hybrid irons, but think about it as like almost strong lofted irons. I could hit these in a simulator, hit them a million miles, dead easy to hit get them out on the golf course and you start to identify some weaknesses, certainly on the shorter shots. Right, come on, I see we're in salvage a par. That's a great putt again. I feel at the moment using my own golf clubs, I would have been no worse than level par through these first two holes. The fact I'm three over, <laughs> I think only, uh, only shows what sort of a challenge this is. You know what's funny, the next hole is actually my favorite hole on this golf course. It's a beautiful little par three designed by old Tom Morris. Uh, just imagine, <laughs> I pull out a nine hybrid, knock it in for a one, and forever I've got to be telling people I made a hole in one with a hybrid nine iron. Either way, it's, it's a great story. Let's see if we can do it, eh? Let's see if we can do it on the next. 
What would old Tom Morris think? One of the, well, the farthing founder of golf. What would he actually think now if he saw these out on the golf course? There you go. What would he think of today's technology in general? Never mind these. He might like them. He might be, uh, he might be thinking, perfect. What a way to make the game easier. We've got a par three here, 130 yards. I'd normally hit a pitching wedge, slightly into breeze. I might chip a nine, but I feel like these hybrids go so far. I'm going to hit a pitching wedge, full pitching wedge. Pins at the front. Come on, see if we can do good. Let's see if we can box one. I'm going to play this. I'm going to play this as a normal pitching wedge. So I think it's a little bit into breeze. In fact, is it a nine? From memory, these last time I hit full shots with these hybrid irons, they go really, really, really high up in the air. That's a six. What are you? An idiot sandwich. I think I nearly pulled the six nine out there. <laughs> that would have been exact. I'd have ended up on the motorway in the background, right? Full nine iron. I'm going to send it up to space. Let the wind just hurt it a little bit. It's going to slam dunk straight in. It's gone quite a long way. Pulled it a little bit, but it's gone all the way back left of the green. I, sh I, need I sh should have trusted my first instinct of the pitching wedge. I switched to nine and I've been kind of been punished there a little bit. It's gone long. Tough up and down from the back of the green now. Eat nice shot, good hit. I can't, can't complain with the strike. Can't believe how long it went. It's a good job I didn't hit the six iron. <laughs> okay, this is gonna be an interesting little shot. I would normally actually put this, but fancy just giving a little chip with the sand wedge. I've got to hold it into this bank on the right. I'm gonna flirt with that bunker. Can't believe how far, honestly that nine iron into wind has gone about 150 yards. Right, little little dinky chippy one. Oh, <laughs> that was as as perfectly executed as I could possibly execute it. I mean, really, it's like a chipper. And maybe, maybe there's still some life in these clubs yet. Yeah, that was a, that was a beautiful shot. Really enjoyed that one for the first par on the scorecard. That was really close to going in that chip. Down the hill, a little bit left to right. Yes. Nice par. We've got one, everybody. Made it hard work, but would I have got up and down with a normal wedge there off the back of the green? Maybe not, maybe not. Okay, that was nice. Par five coming up next. I think we can I think we still got birdies in us on this on these last few holes. I really do. Okay, par five, slight dog leg right. Come on. Good drive, couple of hybrids. Let's make a birdie. Oh, lost balance, but good drive. Yep, good spot. Okay, good drive. Four hybrid. Now this really is a a proper hybrid. What well, hybrid should be a four hybrid? Let's knock one down there. Get it close. Nice. Very nice. It's what a hybrid's supposed to be for. Right. Come on, let's see if we can play a nice short shot this time. Like the last hole. Front of the green. I'm actually going to play a little bump and run with an eight iron. It's basically like a a chipper grip down on it use the contours let's see if we can get it up to that back pin anything inside 10 feet and i feel like we've can make birdie here run and hop and skip and go and go and go and go and go that's actually pretty good that's pretty good come on let's see if we can knock one in Bit of birdie sauce with the hybrids. I'll take that. Okay, come on, Rick. Give yourself a chance. It's pretty straight put. Oh. <laughs> oh, went for it. 
Good. Give me. Give me. Yeah. Thanks. Oh, I absolutely went for it. <laughs> Never mind, we've got another par five coming up. I'm getting used to these hybrids. Okay, another par five. Come on, see if we can get a birdie this time. It's a great drive. First bit done. Okay, 200 yards into this par five. I'm gonna go four right, four, I'm gonna say four iron then, that's wrong, four hybrid. Put it in the middle of the green. Let's set up a nice eagle opportunity. Oh, be really good. Be really, 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 really good. Oh my, here we go. Here we go, I'll take it all back. Hybrids for life. Got a clear cut eagle opportunity. That'd be nice. Yeah, long irons kind of go the right distance. Like I'm almost comfortable. I know how far that four hybrid's gonna go. It's whenever you get those little delicate ones, I just don't know, just don't know how far it's gonna go. I feel like the seven iron down to sand wedge goes probably 20 yards further than what I expect. Look at this. Woo! Check out where it's even pitched. I don't think I would have done as anywhere near as good as that with a four iron. It's pitched there. It's finished there. This is for an eagle. Okay, come on. For an eagle. It's a good looking putt as well. Really good looking putt. You know what though? I think it'd be an injustice to do it with the putter. I do. I've got an idea. Might be a stupid one. <laughs> Might be a stupid idea. <laughs> it was the hybrid that got me here. Can the hybrid finish it off? I might regret this, but I might not. Oh, yes! <laughs> Driver hybrid, hybrid in for eagle. Eagle. I told you I just needed to leave myself full of shots in. That's crazy. That, in fact, I'm actually for the round now, I'm actually only one over par. <laughs> Who would have thought it? The old Wazaki hybrid irons, slash now a putter. They can do everything. They can do everything. Okay, this next hole is a 350 yard par four. I'm actually going to play it a little bit more sensibly. I'm going to go four hybrid, which would be my third shot in a row with this club. <laughs> uh, and then leave myself a fuller shot in. Because I think driver, I'm going to end up again, leave myself that awkward yardage in. Perfect. A little bit too far right, but not bad at all. Okay, 138 yards. I'm actually going to go with this, the pitching wedge. I feel like it, I, I mean, I feel like I could probably even get there with the sand wedge, but I'm going to go with a full-blooded pitching wedge, see if we can get it up there. Pins at the front. Come on. Oh, be fantastic. Wind, wind, wind. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. I like the strategy on, I mean, honestly, that's one of the furthest pitching wedge shots I've ever hit in my life. It's 138 to the pin, and that's gone even five or six yards longer than that. It's like 100, nearly 150 yard pitching wedge. Uphill. Keep it warm. This would be a real, a real pivotal moment. This is actually to get back to level par. Down the hill, little slippery one, right, left to right. It's gonna be fast. Ouch, I really thought I'd box that. Oh, good, give me. Thanks everyone, no, I pre no, thank you, seriously. Thanks for the gimme, right. Still one over, a few holes left up. God, that was a good putt. Getting used to these hybrids, I am. 
Got a great par three coming up next. Again, one of my favorites. 16th hole, the par three, an unbelievable hole, 200 yards. Now, this club has been my favorite club so far. The four hybrid hit it for that setup for eagle and the hole putt, hit off the last tee. This is the same distance. It's just gonna be a nice little four, four hybrid. Don't turn, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn, don't turn. No, 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 no. Stay up. Oh, I just overdrew it. It might have uh, slipped down that bank on the left. Such a good strike, but might have one of those little tricky chips again. Ah, felt good over that as well. Just come off into the runoff area. Come on, little, little up and down. Let's keep this score going. Ah, it just did come out. It's not terrible. Even with the, the lofted hybrid, you saw that like came out hot and forward it's not going up and spinning it's like it's hard to actually generate any real spin with it you're almost playing it like a like a really lofted chipper it's not terrible but just over, slightly over hit it again come on it's knocking in for par very nice salvage a good up and down there from the side of the green two holes to go one over there's still a chance for shooting level par but either way, after that horrendous start, I'm actually quite happy the way it's gone. Seventeenth, smash driver, hybrid on the green. Let's make another birdie. Take that. We will take that. Okay, second shot here on 17, 138 yards. I'm actually going to do a chip and pitching wedge this time. It's not even a full one. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't quite the intended uh, idea on that. I think I just scooped right underneath that. Right, I was thinking, there's a few clubs I've not actually used yet this round, and I might not do on the next, so... Don't think it's the right choice, but I want to play it. I'm going to play a little seven iron bump and run. I've not hit the seven iron in this set yet today. Oh. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have hit the seven iron, but at least I say I can give it a chance. I've given it a chance today. Right, let's go and hold this putt. Come on then, Rick. Important putt to keep the dream alive. Oh, rolled her in. We've got a birdie the last now to shoot level par. It's been an adventurous eight holes, it really has. One more to play. Okay, last hole, 430 yards. It's been an adventure with these clubs, it really has. Um, some instances it's definitely made the game easier, others it's made it much harder. Uh, I want to finish this last hole by hitting probably a couple of clubs I've not had a chance to hit yet. Five iron being one of them, so I'm going to hit five iron off the tee and then probably leave myself something like an eight or nine iron roughly I reckon to the green. Birdie to shoot level par. Stop drawing ball. Yeah, should be fine. A little bit shorter than what I wanted to be, but we should be okay there. Really messed up here. I, I hit five iron off the tee, which was the, the worst decision. One, I hit it badly. Two, I'm miles away from the hole still. I'm actually going to have to hit another. Oh, I'm probably going to have to hit another five iron. Probably even a four, four. I keep saying iron. Five hybrid. Probably even a four hybrid. But I don't think I'll get it over this bank. So I'm going to hit five. Could be really good. If it's dug its feet in, it could be sensational. What a shot. What a shot. It's pitched here, level with the pin. It's rolled out a little bit further. That was from 220 yards away. Definitely hybrids. And, and to, be, to be fair, that part of my bag I might even look at at the moment and put a hybrid in the long set because I've really enjoyed that four and five hybrid today. We've got this for birdies to finish level par, not what we expected. 
I don't know if this is the solution. In fact, I'd, in fact, I know it's not the solution, full set of hybrids, but there's definite benefits for longer clubs. And I'd even go, depending on your ability, seven iron maybe, eight iron maybe. But once you start getting those wedges, I'm not sure that's where the hybrid should live. Let's knock this one in for a birdie to finish strong. So guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. I think it's easy to say, if I'd have had these for the 18 holes, I would have easily broke 75, right? Easy. Let's see if we can finish it with a nice birdie. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.